Hey there, welcome back to the toy box. Since the last video I did some upgrades on the truck to get it ready for towing the new camper. One of those upgrades was new gears and the differentials to give a little better ratio for towing with the oversized tires that I run on it. But that's introduced some new problems. The speedometer's way out of whack and the brake system is now confused because the wheel speed at the front and rear are different than it's expecting based on the way the sensors are configured in the truck. So I've got a programmer here. And today we're just going to do a quick video reprogramming the uh, ECU, the electronic control unit on the truck for the new gears and tire size so that my speedometer is correct and my brakes don't get confused. And in general, I think it'll just drive better. So we'll hope. <laughs> so let's get to it. This speedometer calibrator from Hypertech uh, is not their model that can do all of the power program on the engine. I just want to make sure that I've corrected the control unit on the truck for the changes that I've made. So there's that. Uh, like I said, not a whole lot to it. We've got a plug on the bottom to connect to the wire harness and the OBD2 port on the truck. And it also comes with a USB cable for programming. Before I came out here, I went to the Hypertech website and uh, grabbed the software to update this. And I ran an update on it just to make sure that it was running the most up-to-date firmware. Uh, this is pretty easy to do. You download and install the app, you run it, you plug this in, tell it to update, and it uh, will go through and check and see if you're on the latest software or not. So uh, hopefully there's nothing else that I have to do with respect to that. I should be good and up to date. So let's head over to the truck and Take a look. All right, I'm out here in the truck. I'm gonna plug this in. Uh, it's supposed to be as simple as following the prompts on the screen. So we're gonna see how this goes. I've never done this before and uh, shouldn't be too hard, should be pretty quick. All right, first step is to plug this into the OBD2 port down here under the dash. And then or plug this end into the device. Okay, so this is booting up. Turn key to the run position, but do not start. Got it. Run. 2004 Chevy truck, 4.8 liter. That is correct. Checking for trouble codes. No trouble codes re reported. That is expected. All right, press Y. Checking status. Tire height has been changed from original press why? Yes, it has. Use the up and down arrows to change. Okay, so my new tires are almost 33 inches. They are 32.8. So I think 32.75 is the closest I'm going to get on this. So we'll go there. Select the correct tire size height and then press Y. Rear axle ratio has been changed from original press Y. It has. Okay, so stock on this truck was 3.73 to 1. And I have gone to 4.56 to 1. And then hit enter. If you have an automatic transmission, press Y. Yes. Tire height, 32.75. Axle ratio, 4.56 to 1. Press Y to begin programming. Do not disturb cable. Do not turn off the key. Programming in progress. A 
did something. Everything in my dash reset. Now it's writing to the computer. Just reset all the lights on my dash again. Turn key off for 30 seconds. Press key off for 30 seconds. To end, press Y and unplug the cable. Okay, press Y. Disconnect the programmer. I'm going to start it up and see what it does. Everything looks normal. Nothing looks out of place. I'm going to go take a quick spin around the block and see if my speedometer in the dash now matches the speedometer in the GPS on my phone. Well, that did the trick. The speedometer's corrected. Uh, compared to my GPS, it's off by about three miles an hour, but it's linear. So it's off by three miles an hour at 30. It's also off by three miles an hour at 70. It's not increasing the difference with speed as it would if the tire size and gear combination weren't programmed incorrectly. So I think I'm gonna accept that as good enough. My uh, speedometer's close. I don't drive like a demon. So uh, I don't think it'll be a problem to be off by three miles an hour. And who knows if my GPS and my phone's actually correct. Uh, so there's there's that too. Uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you're new, go ahead and click subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you like what I'm doing, uh, tell me what you want to see more of. And don't forget to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. MG's Toy Box on both of those platforms. Leave me a message. I'd love to interact with you. Till next time, go play with your toys.